Hello everybody, uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Batman cowl. Um, so yeah, uh, I tried making one earlier and it did not work out well at all. I tried making the Arkham Origins one and it didn't come out really good at all. I did make a Dark Knight one, I don't have it with me right now. Um, yeah, here's the Arkham yeah, this is what I was trying to make. It's, it's it looks better on the camera. It, yeah, it looks like crap. So um, I'm gonna try and do another one. But um, what I'm gonna try and do is actually just make my own look. And um, so whenever I'm kind of showing you how to make this, try and make it look like your own. Because um, I was doing research and everything, and I kind of thought to myself uh, every Everyone that's played as Batman, or even just like the comic books and everything, the cowl it, it only fits their face, and there there's nothing else that would fit their face. That's why it it looks the way that it does. Like um, whenever Michael Keaton was Batman, he none of the other uh, Batman cowls would fit him because it's it, that they molded that to his face. Same thing with um, like Ben Affleck's cowl. That wouldn't really look good on anyone else. It wouldn't look exactly... It wouldn't give you the same effect. So, um... Don't try and make an exact replica. If you're trying to make it fit your face. I mean, if you are, and if you can make it look good, great. And I'm not saying that it's not. It's just it's not going to give the same effect to people as if it were just your own design. And that's what I'm doing. I'm not going for any particular look. I'm just going for what would fit my face. Um, and just kind of, like, my body style and everything. Um, and that's kind of why that turned out into su such a bust. Uh, I did make the Dark Knight one, and, um, I like that one because it just contours with my face a little bit better. I don't have it with me, of course, but, um, yeah. We can actually get to building now. I just wanted to put that out there. So whatever I make, you don't have to do exactly the same measurements. It's just, uh, kind of a, um kind of a guide how to do it yourself. Um, excuse me. And this can cut, this can also work for like um, Robin and Nightwing masks. Uh, you just have to worry about the eye piece that I kind of talk about. Because um, that's what I always do. I start with the nose and the eye piece and then I go with everything else. So uh, essentially I make a mask first, uh, like an eye mask, and then I make the whole cowl. So now actually jumping into it. Sorry, I had a ramble for about three minutes I just wanted to put that out there um, again the things that you are gonna need is a lot of cardboard um, like uh, paper I kind of I, I call it fake cardboard I don't know why but it's like the cereal box kind of stuff the really really thin stuff you could use foam board if you want it's just um, that's for more sturdy things it's not supposed to bend um, masking tape and rubber bands are optional uh, the reason why I use that is so I can make the cow actually go around my face. Um, and you'll need scissors, definitely a pen, and a good pen, or a sharpie or something. And um, a box cutter. You'll definitely need one of these, or a um, exacto knife. I recommend even more. So, actually getting into it, um, what I usually start out with is the nose piece. And actually, you know what, I'll go get my Dark Knight one real quick. Okay, I got it. Uh, I showed this in my last video, but I deleted it. Anyways, um, so yeah, this is my Dark Knight one. I don't know why, but every time I show it up on a camera, the eyebrows always look bigger than what it actually is. They're really not that big. Or that really, like, bulgy either. Um, but yeah, this is what I use to make sure that it keeps onto my chin and it goes straight down. Just a rubber band, and uh, so I made this work with just glue and cereal box and whatnot, but I think masking tape works a lot better. Um, and I'm doing a new way on how to make the actual headpiece, because this I don't really like the look of this. It's supposed to be all smooth and whatnot, so. Um, but yeah, I'm essentially going to be making it just like this, uh, just probably with a little bit of different eyebrows and whatnot, so I'm going to leave that right there so you guys can kind of look at it still. Um... And if you want, I can, um, I can also show you how exactly I make this. 
and I also have a, um, come here, I also got a Slade, uh, helmet too, it's not the best, I'm actually gonna take this piece off, I only put this, I only left this flappy piece here so I know what to do, I'm actually gonna take this piece off and it's gonna have the straps like Arkham Origins, and also glued the temples on backwards, um, but other than that, this is what it looks like. I'm going to be making an update on how to make this. Because um, I know a better way how to make it. I just, this is kind of like a prototype. So, um, uh, whenever that video comes out, there would be there's going to be an annotation right here on this that goes to that link. But it's not out yet. Um, if you're watching this video, like, whenever it comes out. Um, okay, so actually getting into it. So, I'm going to start with the nose piece. I'm going to get my big sheet of cardboard, and I'm just going to kind of draw it out. So, there's a lot of different nose pieces. I actually have all the movies right here, all the four original movies, and they all have the same basic shape, of course, um, except for the Dark Knight. But they all have the same basic shape. They look like a triangle, so that's what you kind of want to draw out. So, I'm going to use this as my example. Oh, and another thing, don't draw out the exact shape of it. You want it to be a little bit more fat because, of course, whenever you... It's going to be like this, and whenever you bend it, it gets smaller, in a sense. So whenever it covers your nose, and, and it actually is the shape. So make it a little bit fatter than what you would think it would be. Sorry it took so long, uh, next time I'll actually pause it and whatnot. So this is what it should look like. Uh, let me, there you go. Should look like something like that. Uh, it can be a little bit of a variant. Um, make sure, again, that it's all symmetrical. I'm going to pause this and I'm going to make it a little bit more symmetrical. Okay. Um, and make as many marks as you need. Uh, you should be painting over this, especially if this is cardboard. Um, make as many lines as you need to to make sure that it's all symmetrical and everything because trust me that's gonna help you in the long run All right, so sorry, I knocked that over There we go There. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out I'll be right back Okay, so this is the shape that I ended up getting I'm gonna trim it up uh, I use the box cutter to get out the actual sh the main shape of it and I'm just Use my scissors to trim it up And always make it a little bit bigger than what you think you might need it because it's easier to take off than to put back on i mean with cardboard it's easier than like wood or metal or something like that but it still takes away the look every time you have to glue something together and that's another thing that you could use is um uh clay to like contour uh the temples and the eyebrows if you wanted so it, it's a little bit more round and you could also use that to fill in any of the marks that you get from gluing so you take it, and then you try and um, bend it in the middle as much as you can, and uh, try and make the middle. Uh, try and make everything, the all the grain going up and down, so then it's easier to bend, because your skull bends more like this than up and down. Um, so that's the way that you want the grain going, and try and make the center of your nose on on a grain, so it's easier to bend. And then you just bring it up to your nose. Make sure that it's right, and make sure that it's long enough too. You don't want it too short, and um, you you want it a little bit longer than your nose. And if you want, I think what they all, I think they do it in the movie. You can make a cover on your nose if you want. I like breathing, so I'm not gonna do that. That's what I didn't do on that either. So I got a mirror right here. I'll be right back. Okay, so this is not wide enough because whenever I, it does this, it's not. It doesn't go down into the face enough, so I'm going to have to cut out another one, which kind of sucks. That's a lot of wasted cardboard. And I know it doesn't look like much, but that can save your life. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and cut out another shape, and once I perfect it, I'll be next. With, I'll be back with the next step. Okay. Oh, oh crap. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, 
so I got my piece. It's actually long enough and whatnot. And, um, yeah. And always remember, you're supposed to look ridiculous whenever you're first doing this. So if you look like Beak Man, like I do right now, that's a good thing. Um, it's a, it always looks a little bit weird whenever you're first doing this. And uh, one thing that I did mess up on with this is that um, you can even see on the side, it goes straight down into the nose. And the nose is supposed to come at a different angle. It's actually supposed to come out like that, in a sense. So it's supposed to be, it kind of starts, the best way I can describe it is it starts in your head and it comes out. Like that, I'm just less exaggerated. So it's supposed to come out a little bit. Of course, that also depends on your nose style, but that's essentially what that is uh, kind of iconic with. So now the next part is um, with uh, cheekbones, and there's two ways that you can do the cheekbones and whatnot. Now, um, there's one way, like the Arkham Knight um, and Arkham all that, and the Val Kilmer one, is that you don't really do with the cheekbones. What you do is it um, right here. Uh, it just it's out, and then it goes straight down into the eyes. Now my nose is as close to my eye as some other Batman characters. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna make the cheekbone come up and then down, and then it's gonna start. So that's kind of what I did with the Arkham or, or with the Batman uh, Dark Knight. So that's how I'm gonna do mine. Is um. Right here is going to have the eye socket coming out, and that's where what the, that's always what they do is they have a secondary eye socket in a sense. So that's what I'm going to say is that this uh, part is the eye socket, and that's always coming away from your face, and then uh, it's the temple part. So then it curves and starts going back towards your head. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the eye socket come out from right here, and then the cheekbone kind of come back down, and then it's going to go into the um, the the mouth, the open mouth, and, um, uh, with the uh, Dark Knight and Batman Begins, the, the, the sides of it are a little bit closer to his mouth than the other Batmans, I'm gonna kind of go in between, I'm kind of gonna have it right here, the rest of them are, like, way back, but because of my hairline and whatnot, I'm gonna have them a little bit closer, that's just me, if you want it to be more like, uh, the Michael Keaton one, where it's kind of way out, that's fine, if you want it more like, um, Christian Bale's, that's fine too. If you have no idea of what I'm talking about, then just go for whatever you want. <laughs> so, um, that's what I'm going to do. If you want, though, uh, the George Clooney one, it looks like it just kind of, it's flat. So it, it just stays flat. And the eyebrows are the only thing that actually pops out. Which is fine. I don't mind the look. I personally like the one that actually has a little bit more contouring. But that's up to you. So, um, to explain it real quick, if you just want the flat look... I got an extra piece of cardboard here, so what you're going to do is you kind of just, yeah. So you make it angled to your face, and that's it. You just have that, and kind of have like a strip going. And another thing, it, the nose is the only centerpiece and the uh, forehead. That's it. Everything else, one piece and one piece. So whenever you make the right eye piece, you want to make the left eye piece the exact same thing. So before you glue anything to the nose, make sure you have a copy of it. Always draw a copy so it's all symmetrical. Otherwise, it's going to turn out like, like this. And you're going to knock the not Dark Knight over. So. Okay. So, um, but yeah. If you're going to go out, if you're going for like a George Clooney where it's all flat on the bottom, you just take a piece and you go uh, straight with it. And then you cut out your eye socket. However you want. Um, if you're going for like what I'm going for, out and then back in, then you have your stripe here. If you want, you can just glue the stripe here, and then you can do that. Or what I'm going to do so it, it feels a little bit better, so it's not like skin tight. Well, it should be tight, it's just it shouldn't be flat and uneven in places. Um, I'm going to kind of measure out where my eye socket on the bottom starts, so I'm going to do that right here. Um, and that's where I'm going to start, and then it's going to start going down. So from right here, it's going to come out a little bit, and then in. Um, and you never ever ever want it right on your eyeball because um, usually they all seem like they kind of wear like a black makeup. So it kind of looks like the cowl was like part of them in a sense. Um, but the actual cowl, the eye sockets are like that big sometimes. It's kind of weird. It's up to you of course, but I'm going to make mine 
closer to my eye on the bottom and then on the top it's going to be a little bit further away same thing with long ways um but again that's up to you if you're just going for like a down stroke or an up stroke just do that so i'm going to go ahead and do it the way that i want and i'll tell you how i do it okay so i got this piece from doing the bottom of my eye so mm, there we go all right so put this up to your nose and then you take this and you kind of push it out a little bit. So I know you can't see much under the camera, but this is what you should get. And it kind of goes off of the piece a little bit, but it's easy to glue like that. And that's what you should get. So before you glue this on anything, uh, one, you need to make a copy of it. And then two, you need to take another strip of cardboard and go underneath it. So it does this. So this is coming out and this is coming back in. All right, and then measure it out and measure it down to the bottom of the nose. And it doesn't matter how far down your cheekbone goes, all the cowls, the nose is the bottomless part of the top piece. Kind of sounds a little weird, but where this nose is, it, that's where everything follows. So if it comes to right here, then the bottom cheekbone needs to come down to just right there, and then you go as far back as you want. If it goes any bit further than the nose, it's going to look weird. If the nose goes further down, then the actual cow is going to look even more weird. So make sure it all lines up. And again, always make a copy. I'll be right back. All right. So this is what I got from doing all that. So this is how far it's coming out from my eye. My eyebrows look bushy. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, now from here, you just kind of make it come from this, from this point up to this point. So in a sense, you gotta make a triangle out of it. Of course, it's gonna come around and everything, but that's how you have to think about it from this point to this point. So it has enough angle for enough contouring. I'll be right back whenever I do that. All right, so I got it all set up now. It kinda, it's gonna look a little weird right now. Yeah, see, it looks a little weird, but whenever the full thing is on, it's gonna look really, really nice. So uh, this is actually really, really, really low on my nose, so I may or may not trim it. I don't think I will. Um, but see, with the mask, it's I can't do that anymore with the nose, which is fine. It's just that's how you want it to shape at first. Otherwise, it's going to look weird. So um, another thing that you want to do is, once you're done with this part, once you get to the mask, um, put some glue in the nose piece. So what you do is you hold it up to your face, you push it to how it should be and whatnot, how it feel, what feels nice and what looks nice at the same time. Make it as comfortable as possible. You don't want it, it's better to have it comfortable and look a little off than have it look perfect and it's not comfortable because nine times out of ten, you're going to be wearing this for a long time. And what that's always what I do. I always kind of wear things that I make around the house, usually not uh, helmets or anything because you don't do much with your head except for talk and breathe. But usually, like, whenever I'm wearing armor or something, I always kind of wear it around the house just to see if I can do some plastic things. So then if I'm ever at a party or something, I'm able to pick up a drink and put it to my mouth. You don't want to be walking around like this. Um, but either way, like, especially with cowls and whatnot, you want to make sure that it, that it's wearable for a long period of time without it being irritating. So, um, yeah. You want to put it up to your nose and you make sure that it's bent the way that you want. Hold it, put some glue, and you're good. Um, and always make sure that your glue gun is hot and ready before you start doing stuff. Um, so now that we're done with that piece, and um, it's not, uh, it doesn't quite look like that this is angled down. It's because I just couldn't quite do it. It's just, it wasn't working like that. So I did get the eye sockets coming out, and that's what I was really worried about. Um, here we go. Yeah, see? gonna look a little weird right now but as soon as you get the cowl actually going it's gonna look great so um there's two things that you can do at this point is you can either start making the actual open mouth part or if you want to close mouth that's cool too i kind of like that style too um i make i'm just making open mouth for right now um actually i have a drawing of my of a suit that I'm going to be making whenever I get to my dad's house. Right now I'm at my mom's, and whenever I get to my dad's house, I'm making a suit for Halloween. I did a little sketch. I'm also going to be I'm making the cape and um, 
I'm doing this with my uh, a friend of mine, and she's going to help me too. So I'll be also posting videos on how I make that. So this cowl that I'm making right now, depending on how well it comes out, is actually going to be with this. So, um, but yeah, I'm going to be making all this and whatnot, and what I'm going to do with this is wear it around, you know, just to make sure that it's working. Um, and that's what I'm trying to make the cowl kind of match this. I also have another one right here. Um, I have two different styles. I'm going to make both, but yeah, I'm going to show you how to make that too. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm making this for, and I'm going to actually make it to where it's wearable and whatnot. So, um, yeah, getting back to this. <laughs> Uh, again, you want to make sure that it fits. Put it on in different ways. Make sure that it fits, like, right whenever you pu put it on. So right whenever you look at it, just instantly, boom. If it fits, then that's exactly where you want it to be. Adjust it a little bit if you want. Uh, right now, again, it's going to look weird. I don't even like the look of this right now. But, again, don't worry. So um, now I'm going to make my kind of angle up a little bit. That's kind of what I already have going on. I just need to clean this up. Alright, so uh, again, two ways that you can go from this is you can start making the top part or the bottom part. I'm going to make the bottom part just because it just takes two pieces of cardboard. So I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. Okay, another quick note that you can do, um, if you want you can put some, you can take some string or something to the end of these so then you can put it onto your face and you can leave it there so then you don't have to hold this and you can actually like use both hands to go on other spots and whatnot. Um, don't poke any holes so you can tie it. You don't want to do that unless you're making a robin mask. And um, There's actually a way to make a robin mask to where you don't need string. And I think it's uh, the stuff called spirit gum. I'm also going to be making a tutorial on how to make the mask. Not, no, not necessarily the whole costume because it's, it's the same as any other like Batman stuff. Um, and I personally don't like the original robin look. I, I'm just not a fan of it. I respect it. Uh, I respect the nature of everything that of the originals. I just, I personally don't like the look. That's how I am with anything really with movies and whatnot. Like, I respect the original Batman uh, costume and everything, but I just, again, I don't like the look. Um, especially for 21st century. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll do the, um, like, uh, the Chris O'Donnell one I think it is. It looks more Nightwing-ish to me, but either way. Um, but yeah, I will also be doing a, um, not a review, but a tutorial on that. So I'm going to go ahead and make my, um, my open mouth, and I'll be right back with that. Alright, so this is what I got so far. It's going to, I don't know, it looks a little weird right now. Um, and it goes considerably past my job, but look at this. And it's perfect. That's what you want. You want it to um, come down to how far your jaw is whenever you're opening your mouth. I think I already mentioned that in my um, Halo tutorial show thingy. Um, always open and not throw your stuff. Uh, always open your mouth as far as it goes uh, whenever you're making jaw pieces because otherwise you're not going to be able to talk without your mask or whatever doing this. Um, um, yeah, not fun. Um. Especially whenever you're making uh, closed mouth um, uh, helmets or cowls in this instance, because um, it, it really it, it just sucks because then you can't open your mouth, you can't you can't, you can you have to talk like this. That's not fun. Not being able to move your teeth. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and put on the next piece, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm not. Uh, this piece isn't quite done drying yet, but um, just a note. For all of you uh, Robin and Nightwing fans like me, if you're just making a Nightwing mask or something like that, uh, you can skip this part that I'm talking about. Um, or if you want to add a little zazz to it or whatever, you can add these kind of open mouth things. Um, but you can go skip ahead a little towards the video. I could, I'll, I'll put an annotation right on his head so you can skip ahead if it's possible. Um, Okay, now it's done drying. So this is what you should have. You're kind of going off of what I'm doing. You should have this. So now whenever I 
Look at my hair in my face. And whenever I put it on, it's a little big. Like, really, really big. So what I'm going to do, I can overlap it. Now I can cut it. So now, what I can do, so now I know that this is where it overlaps. I can put rubber band right there. And then I can make it stretch. So uh, what I'm doing here is a little different than what I did on this guy. Is I'm actually making this like kind of fit together at first, and then whenever I talk, then it kind of stretches. So you put this on. I don't know how well you can see this, but it kind of fits underneath. And again, I like the cowl a little bit closer to my mouth just because I think it looks better on me. All right, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put a rubber band in there. Again, if you're uh, if you're using rubber band or if you're doing kind of more like how they do it in the movie of like Michael Keaton and whatnot, they um they have the cowl way they kind of come underneath the chin, so you don't need anything. I I personally like something underneath my chin like that. I don't know why, but um, I'm just gonna put some rubber band in between there so it, it stretches. You can do that however you want. I'm using masking tape and like one rubber band. Um, I'm pro I'm actually, I'm, scratch, I'm not going to do that just yet because, um, that affects how you put on the mask, or the towel, sorry, whatever you want to call it, I kind of go back and forth, um, but yeah, whenever you do put it on, you need to make sure that if there is space for a rubber band, or if you, if whenever you put it on, you think that you can, um, pull it forward, and then put it on, and then snap it or whatever, then that's a good thing, if you can't, then you're gonna have to find some other way to make it stretch or just make it to where it kind of fits underneath a little bit. Like mine, I can actually make mine, I can bend mine if I wanted, so I can just do this a little bit like that. So then I can put it on and you can see that it kind of, it doesn't go straight down. So yeah, this is what you should have so far. It looks nice so far. Now, um, yeah, I'm not going to put the annotation over there because we're getting into the eye part right now. So, just a few ways that you can make the eye socket. I'm going to do it how I want. I'm not going to explain all the ways because I'm really not a professional with eyes. So, uh, the way that I'm going to do it is, um, since this is coming up, I'm, make, I'm going to make this part kind of do more of an oval, just a normal oval shape than coming down. Just a normal oval shape coming to it. So, um... This, I'm going to add a little piece to this, kind of flapping forward, and then it's going to go into the eyepiece. I'm going to show you what I mean here in a sec. Oh, okay. So, uh, better idea. I'm going to do it how I did it on the Dark Knight because it's just easier. Um, you can do this the same way with, for a Robin custom, too. You just had to cut off a little bit. So, the forehead piece, as you can tell on all the Batmans, it's always um, just out there. It's big forehead, you know? So... Uh, we're not going to make it really wonky or anything from this on the nose piece. We're going to make it curve into the eye piece, and it's going to come out into the forehead. So it's going to be like a mask, and then we're going to make it into a full cowl. So that's exactly what I did here, you can see. Okay, so it was just a forehead, and how you make it round, you can see it right there. You just cut, cut a slit, and you fold it. And you can tell that I made the mask piece. Follows this, and then comes around. So, and actually, this mat, this is like the third version of this helmet or cowl. Sorry, first, um, the backing was a little different. It had this piece on there, so then it would be easier to put on. I got a better solution to that. Now I'm going to show you how to do that whenever it gets there. But yeah, basically, just make the mask at first. So I'll be right back after. Actually, no, I'll show this on. Video right now, so um, I'm gonna just cut this out, of course, first. But I'm gonna show you how to glue it on properly. All right, so I got it drawn out. Whoa, and looks something like this. There we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it out. I'm gonna show you a little bit more. All right, so this is what you get. Um, right now, it's just kind of I kind of try to measure it. Um, this is what you should have, something like this. And so whenever you put it on, it's kind of what it should vaguely look like. Vaguely. 
Anyways, yeah, it's not perfect just yet. Um, what I always do is I bend it to how the um, nose piece is just slightly, and then glue it right there first, and then I put it up to my head and I do some extra measurements and everything. But yeah, so this is what you want, and the, the reason why you can do this with the um, with the Robin one is you can just cut out the shape that you want of the Rob of the Robin mask or the Nightwing mask. Do whatever contouring you want with clay or extra cardboard, and you're done. So I'm going to go ahead and do what I do on here, and I'll be right back for the next step. Alright, still kind of drying. Uh, one thing to note, see how it kind of bends backwards away from the face, or into the face away from the mask? That's what you want also, otherwise it's not going to quite fit right whenever we actually put it on. And I know the forehead looks a little bit big. I wanted to make it just big so then I could cut it down to the exact measure. Because if I tried measuring it out with my head against the board, one, I would look like an idiot. And two, I wouldn't get the right measurements. So now that it's actually curved, now I can actually measure it out to my head and cut approximately what I want. You want it a little bit higher than, or you want it about the same height as the top of your head. So keep going, and then that's how much you want. And then you can make a slit, and then you bend it to how your head is. Um, of course, by now, the eye shape has changed a little bit. As you can... As you can see here, for me it's a little bit off, so I'm going to have to fix it and whatnot. But um, otherwise, no big deal. So I'll be right back with that, and then we can start working on the eyebrows. Don't worry about cutting and whatnot, just worry about the stra stra can't talk, sorry. scratch that, do the forehead how I told you. You know, if you need to do the eyes first, that's fine, do the eyes first. Um, and then you can cut the forehead and bend it how I told you to. And then we can get to the eyebrows. Um, and there's two ways to do that, and I'll talk about that as soon as we get there. Alright, uh, I'm just going to apologize real quick. I apologize for how long this video is turning out. And this is only part one, so... Um, Alright, so I finally got this just about right. And right now, I, I know the eye holes are still a little bit off, but um, it doesn't matter if one is... Higher, just make sure that one is exactly how you want it because, or at least the top part, um, and how wide it is. The top part doesn't quite matter because we're going to be putting eyebrows over it. But the eyebrows do matter because if you don't get that right, then that's going to break the look of it. And yeah, same with that ears, but I'm going to get to that later. So that's what the the blue like that. Got it. Okay, good. Anyways. So that's like the main thing. So I got my incision here. Make it as long as you need to. And then bend it as much as you need to. So then it goes with your forehead. And then glue it. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on my face. You can see it's starting to look out. Bend it. I think I got it to where I want. So then you want to mark, mark it. Alright. Then you put some glue and you hold it there. Never put this thing on every every time you put glue on. Never, ever, ever put it on. Um, at least, well, just don't. It's not going to feel good, especially if you have hair like me. It's not going to feel good for sure. So, um, yeah. And you don't need a ton of glue whenever you're doing, like, major pressure points like this. Um, like, it takes a lot of force. That's what I call a pressure point. Um, just, just pinch it as hard as you can, and the glue will... It will stay like that. If it's if it's premature and you let go too early, then it's gonna break. But um, if there's a lot of force, not too much force, but there's if there's a lot of force to where it kind of even takes you a little while to kind of hold it down, the glue is gonna gonna be enough to hold it down most of the time. Sometimes there is way too much force pulling against the glue, but see, it's fine. So now it actually kind of fits in my forehead. See. So now with that, I can actually make the uh, the forehead. So um, that's going to be it for this video. The next video, um, part two, I'm going to make the eyebrows and make it to where you can actually put it on your head. Not the top, probably, but for sure making it fit around your head. So uh, hope you enjoyed. I'll see you later.